What's up everybody, welcome to the video. This is my Olympia prediction video. I've been in the UK for a little bit now. We've been kind of putting our feet to ground and plans in place, but I wanted to jump in because it's this weekend guys, I can't believe it. The Olympia is here and I thought I would go through each and every class. I thought I'd give you my thoughts and give you like a top five of what I think is going to happen or my prediction. There might be different predictions for what I think is going to happen, what I think the judges are going to do. So we'll go through it one by one. So we'll start at the bottom, although relatively one of my favorite categories, the men's physique. So there has been so much that has happened in this men's physique uh, year. Aaron Banks, who won last year, lost to Kiron. Chiron. Kiron or Chiron. Can you believe it? I, you know, to, to see a Olympia champion knocked off pedestal before the Olympia it's like relatively unheard of so that completely throws men's physique predictions all over the place right was Eren slightly off was cut Kiron Chiron just too good will Chiron just beat him regardless next time you know it's, it's, there's so many questions to be asked they've got the comeback of Jeremy Buendia you've got some amazing people that have won the Olympia multiple times Brandon Hendrickson has won the Olympia three or four times as well. So it's gonna be a crazy, crazy first call out. And every single one of these people could win. Every single one of these people should be expecting to be in the first call outs and when they are or aren't called, it's gonna be crazy. So first up in fifth place, I have Ryan Terry. Now I would love Ryan Terry to get a little bit higher up there. He's placed as high as second before, but I just think the division is a little bit bigger than he is, unfortunately. I think it should be his size. I think, I think Ryan Terry should be uh, the gold standard men's physique, but I don't think he's gonna quite get that. But that beautiful midsection, the improvements that he's made to his back shots as well um, have massively been shown this year you know for someone to do that this late in their career though the improvements that he's made is pretty impressive so i'm gonna have ryan terry in fifth in fourth place i'm gonna put erin banks the former mr olympia i'm going to put erin in fourth place so much of that is biased because i don't like the guy too much but i do think that they have established what they want out of this and i think kieran was the epitome of men's physique. And I think that Aaron's time has come, which is a shame because he was uh, someone who kind of shook up the, the division. I think he's someone who has put a lot of eyes on the division, whether that through his arrogance or that through competitive, or however lens you want to see it, a lot more eyes have been put on this sport by Aaron, but I'm going to put him in fourth. I think that the compactness that all these other guys have in this top five are probably going to be what they lean towards erin is 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 different long arms not as full through the the, the chest and the back sorry not as full through the chest through the back he's unbelievable and those big long rangy arms that he you know hits these poses with i think they're gonna go with the uh the kieran type type physique just based off Kieran being him, basically. I think that that's kind of what they're going to go towards. So I'm going to have Erin in fourth. I think Brandon Hendrickson will be third. Brandon Hendrickson is three-time Mr. Olympia. It's been very, very hard for him to get back to that top spot again. He's been second many times. But I've got him third for two very good reasons, the two people above him. Um, I think Brandon is super complete. I think he's super aesthetic. I think he's got such a pleasing physique on the eye. I just think it's one mark down from being a wow factor if that makes sense i think that the wow factor that these two people bring ahead of them is a little bit of what the uh, the category is about in second place four time mr olympia jeremy buendia i think that if he can bring it he could be first he could be first he could be second he could be third he could be fourth he could be fifth or he could be walked all over but i think if he, jeremy brendier can bring the physique that we know that he has and some of these pictures these instagrams i saw this latest video this morning which was just crazy the aesthetics are beautiful the way he poses the way he stands this is what i fell in love with the men's physique he's a little bit weak through the back relative to erin relative to kieron maybe even to ryan terry as well these days ryan ryan's a little bit more narrow but i don't know whether his back's going to match what kieran can bring and i think that that front shot will be the best front shot of all time i think that 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 front shot that jeremy puts through where he's just at the side like this you know and he just 
looks across. I think that is the most beautiful men's physique shot I've ever seen. However, I don't think the champ is going to come back and get the fifth uh, Olympia title. If he did, what a story that would be. Um, I'm not a big fan of him as a person, but as a physique, what a beautiful physique. And I think that if he can bring in that condition and that, that midsection is notoriously his issue. Um, you know, whether he peaks properly or not, that's going to be to be remain seen. But definitely, if he can nail that peak, get his abs <laughs> saran wrapped like he has done sometimes in the past, I think he could potentially take that top spot if it came to it. And if maybe Kiron was slightly off, but I've got Kiron in first. I've mentioned him multiple times. He beat the last year's Olympia winner. He took this year to actually go to Classic. Maybe that was what he needed to get the the muscle and to fill in the gaps that he had been left from the year before. And wow, guys, his back was better than Aaron's. Like, there was talks of Aaron's back being unbeatable and no one was ever going to come close. I think Kieran's back was better. And I think his front shots are better. I think he's more compact. I think he's more aesthetic. I think that his abs look better. I think that his midsection looks better than Aaron's as well. And I think that he is as close to the complete package as you can get. And I think that is what they'll be judging on this this year. The complete package. And I think that while Aaron got straight 10s last year, I don't agree with that personally. I think I think he's not complete. I think his arms are... They're just too long. That's not his fault. They're just too long. So his arms don't look as full. His chest doesn't look as full because of that, because he's so long and rangy. But if I look at Jeremy, if I look at Brandon Hendrickson, if I look at Kieran, I think that those physiques are much more in proportion. So that is my men's physique predictions. We'll go on to open next. Classics my favorite. Classics is most people's favorite. So I'm going to do the open. The open is what I know the least about, although probably the one I followed the longest. Open is going to be a much harder one to judge. And for me personally, this is like a little bit more of a stab in the dark, but I'm going to put Brandon Curry in fifth. I think Brandon has been struggling to get to the form of old. He is a former Mr. Olympia. I think that his lower body needs to come up a little bit. It's very difficult to do that when you're older. Very, very, very difficult to do that when you're older. I think he will struggle. However, you know, he placed very high last year. He placed very high every year. I think he'll just drop a couple places this year um, into that fifth position. Now, this is one of the most competitive lineups I've ever seen. There are so many different people that could, if they come on, could be in that top five, that top six. You know, it's just going to be a case of like who's on on the day and who's not. In fourth, I'm going to put Hardy. Hardy, obviously, is previous winner. He won last year. From what I've seen, his waist just looks bigger. He always comes with the grain train. He's always the hardest. He's not the most aesthetic, but he's pretty aesthetic. I think he's more aesthetic than Nick Walker, for example, but isn't aesthetic as someone like Samson, for example. The aesthetics this year, or the people who have quote unquote shape, have done really well to get the size this year as well. And I think that is, that's what's gonna come into play. So I'm gonna put Hardy in fourth. I'm gonna put Andrew Jacked in third. I think this, this is what we talked about with the shape. I think the shape will just start to prevail. And I think that if Andrew can fix his posing a little bit, I, I don't see many people being able to beat him if he's on. Uh, he's full, he's hard, he's shredded, he's bubbly. He has a beautiful physique. And I think that that midsection is gonna carry him so far. In second place, Derek. I love Derek. Derek could win. Derek could definitely win. I just don't know whether the balance top to bottom, front to back is going to be there. He is notorious for just an unbelievable back, but you know, does the front match, do the legs match? Yet to be seen. We'll, we will find out. Like like I said, guys, these could go any way. And if someone comes with something we haven't seen yet, and, and the thing about these open guys is they don't share a lot. They don't post physique updates that often, um, apart from a few these days, Samson being one of them, for example, Nick Walker every now and again. But these other guys, Derek, Andrew, Hardy, anyone else who's probably in that top six to seven hunter, like they, they, they don't share too much of their physique. Just an open guy thing. They're already big enough. They don't need to... Uh, they don't need to share the share the journey as much as us little boys. So Derek in second, he always comes crisp. He always comes on point. We know he's going to be peaked well. You know, we Hani never misses. So I don't think that um, Derek is going to come off. I just think that number one, Samson Dowder, representing the UK. I don't think anyone comes close to him in terms of like how across the board he is. He is one of the best in everything, right? Back shots, one of the best. Front shots and abs, one of the best. Front double biceps, super aesthetic, one of the best. 
posing, his posing is some of the best the way he presents himself. His muscularity, he's one of the biggest guys on stage. Like he is just so consistently good across every single point. Is he as big as Nick? No. Is his back as good as Derek's? Maybe not. Legs as good as Nick's from the side shots? Maybe not, right? But if you look at it as a spectrum of results, spectrum of judging, I don't think anyone beats him across everything as an average and it depends whether they judge it like that it depends how they judge it but i do think that he will uh, and hope he takes the win classic the one um that we've all been waiting for the one with the biggest differences like there's 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 the new weight caps that are in place immediately so chris bumstead was about a couple pounds under his weight cap last year due to the new caps he can get about three or four pounds people like rough diesel people like ramon and Urs were all able to get up to six or seven pounds of extra muscle and we know that from pictures of us like he was like 275 280 in the off season and he had to get down to like 220 218 or something well now he can be like 225 and a little bit heavier so he's got that little bit of room to just not lose as much muscle and keep a bit more and ramon like heavily muscular can also get extra weight as well so it's gonna shake things up a little bit in fifth i've got brion i think brion also got a, a good few pounds I, I still think he's a bodybuilder but i don't think anyone's gonna come like as hard dry as he usually does he's super crisp got really nice lines you know him in fifth slash mm, that's it i don't think that anyone really touches this top four in fourth my brother i'm sorry I think Urs is gonna get fourth. The size is gonna make a big difference, but I also think that people ahead of him also get the size, and I think they've got the shape as well. I, I love Urs, train with Urs, love him so much. He's the nicest guy ever. Huge motivation to me. I think he's gonna get fourth. And I think that puts Ramon in third. Ramon was pushing Seabomb for, for first, I say pushing, they were call, calling him back. He was far, far ahead still, but you know, there was a very, very big reason why that wasn't three, a top three being called out in Rough Diesel. And I think because Rough came so far off, but we know from this year in the Dubai Pro where he absolutely killed it, he was off last year and he was off by a lot. And I think if we can bring the Rough Diesel of Dubai Pro, that Christmas, the aesthetics, the pose and the flow. That's true classic. I, I think his physique is the second most classic physique there. And if he can bring everything else that comes along with the extra few pounds that he's had, I think it's more classic than Ramon. I do personally. Ramon might be more muscular, might be denser, maybe a better back shot, maybe. But I just don't think it's as classic. So I'm gonna have Ramon in third, and I'm gonna put my guy Rough in second. Of course, the king, the five-time Mr. Olympia, soon to be five-time bum, C bum. I don't think anyone can top him off. I don't think anyone's gonna do it until he retires. I do not think anyone will ever get close to him. So to cap those off, guys, men's physique. I've got Kieron, Jeremy, Brandon, Erin, Ryan, Terry. One, two, three, four, five. I've got Samson, Derek, Andrew, Hadi, Brandon, Curry in one, two, three, four, five, and finally the King. Bumstead in first, Ruff in second, Ramon in third, Urs in fourth, and Brion in fifth. Guys, I would love to hear your opinion on my picks. I also want to hear your picks. Who have you got? Guys, it's a bit of fun. I'm allowed to be wrong. Like, these are some of my picks. Maybe a little bit of bias in there as well, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this year's Olympia. I cannot wait uh, for the watch party on Friday. So, drop a comment, drop a like. We'll be back very soon with regular videos. Otherwise, guys, peace and love. Bye-bye.